Hola, Mon Frere. Tis I, TK. <laughs> oh, man. I just had the straight up best time watching Kevin Smith's freaking mall rats. Oh, man. I love Kevin Smith. He's like white trash Tyler Perry. <laughs> he is so freaking awesome. Okay. I love mall rats. <laughs> I was watch Jason Lee was like when I was a kid. I was a skateboarder and Jason Lee was like my hero. I was like, I was like, you know, Jason Lee's like just he's like the super cool guy, right? He's so awesome. And like he, you know, he's Panamotum. And he was like, when he got in the mall rats, it was like my favorite thing ever. I was like, yes, that's the best ever. Dumb idea putting freaking party of five, you know, freaking hands in his armpits all the time. But Jason Lee, again, five stars, two bananas, and a goat. <laughs> because he's so awesome. So freaking Brit is in there, right? <laughs> and she connects the Mallrats freaking universe through Dylan to, okay, the fifth element and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Boom. Boom. Locked in there, okay? Which also, you know, Stan Lee, Jason Lee, probably related to Bruce Lee, connects it to all of the, you know, all the, all the, the Marvel, what have you, you know? <laughs> and, 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 oh my God, it's so, so, so the, the guy's girlfriend who's going on the game show, right? By the way, meet Joe Black. She was like my serious crush through all of in 97 okay don't tell nobody about that okay <laughs> okay but like i was madly in love with this actress once she's you know freaking made out with tyler durden what are you gonna do right <laughs> oh my god so this movie connects this piece of minutia to the world through bodie and fashionable son of a bitch male in you so how crazy is it that <laughs> Jason Lee ends up playing again <laughs> mustache white trash guy hanging out with the sailboat magic picture mall guy American history X style white trash out in you know the boonies and then freaking <laughs> <laughs> freaking dumb daredevil batman gets to grow up from fashionable male and be a billionaire right and i mean you know don't get me wrong he's an awesome batman you know he's definitely my third favorite okay <laughs> he ends up in jail okay it, it is like that it was part was never necessary okay <laughs> so there's that but i guess that would what turned him into like this universal idea of Batman which oh my god connects him to the DC universe it's connected to the DC universe at that point you know, as any true believer will tell you a movie's only good as this bad guy and this movie has the freaking most awesome bad guy in being Yondu <laughs> Michael Rooker is such a badass okay the best villain ever and do you remember when he was in cliffhanger and he was like super climber rope guy <clears throat> but he gets hurt on the top of the mountain and then like his girlfriend is there and they you know everybody's happy sunny day rescue time and comes in cobra and he slides out on the line and then freaking Yadu's one job is to make sure the ropes work and then boom his girlfriend falls and then <laughs> stupid freaking cobra catches her but he drops her and they were like this is a good cover for the movie is he starts out the movie with a failure it drops a lady and then that's the cover of the movie <laughs> watch this freaking movie when i was younger with the commentary on and like i would never watch anything you know, like, I would never watch anything anywhere where it's just some asshole freaking commenting on movies. That would suck so much, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, man, I'm going to go watch Chasing Amy and Clerks 
and uh, <laughs> then I'll call and <laughs> tell you all about them. <laughs> hey, man, listen, I'm having a blast, so uh, thanks for uh, thanks for indulging me. Anyway, man, I gotta go. I love you. Call your mom.